heading down to the airport this morning because I've been asked a question recently which is actually best for pilots in terms of note taking like taking down clearances writing little notes to yourself during the flight which is best using paper and pen like a lot of us have been trained to do or using an iPad either with your finger or with a stylus What's happened to KJN? Echo Yankee Zulu. I'm just gonna do a really quick flight, like a really quick local flight today, just to kind of demonstrate taking a couple of notes on the iPad, taking a few notes on the paper, on paper, um, just to kind of show you what it's like. So when I generally fly, you can't see that. When I generally fly, I have this knee board. It's basically attached to my knee or leg. It should be called a leg board. And it basically is a note pad, a uh, couple of pens, I've got a few spares obviously, but basically it's like having a notepad on your lap, but instead of it moving around whilst you're flying, uh, because it's attached to my leg, it doesn't move. The other thing I do then is I have my iPad, but I normally just tuck it in, I don't know when you can see it, kind of tuck it in under the notepad just down there for a couple of reasons. One, to keep it out of the way because especially doing takeoff and landing, I don't want it moving around, but also it keeps it out of the sun. And I'll talk about that in a second. Alright, so that's getting the ATIS and writing it down using the paper. Let's try it now using the iPad. So comparing the two side by side, that's what I got down on paper. That's what I wrote down on the iPad. You can see that I did get both down in one go, so I didn't have to listen to that twice. I could actually write all the information down, but I don't know, I can read this a lot better. This? I mean, there's some squiggles there. That's, I mean, what's that? I think that's 35010 to 20 knots. Oh, that's okay. That's co okay for cab okay. But the thing I do notice about the iPad is, look, you can get the speed down, so you can write it as fast as you're writing on paper, but it's messy. Echo Yankee Zulu, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Echo Yankee Zulu. making our way out of Arabi. It's pretty bumpy today with the weather, so hold on tight. Probably keep your seatbelt fastened at this point. One other thing I wanted to mention is, as you can probably see, the sun's coming out of my left at the moment. And on my knee pad, you can see here on the paper that I'm using here on my knee board, I'm in the sun, so you can see the reflection. Now, if you have an iPad which is mounted to your knee board, which I know a lot of people do, if you get the sun coming in here, that's sitting in the direct sunlight. Now, I know a lot of them you can flap over like that, and keep it warm, but I reckon that's absorbing some heat, the black here. We all know what happens to iPads when they get too hot. They can overheat, you've probably seen that warning where you get that temperature warning on the iPad and uh, stops working. And if you're in the middle of taking notes, that's never a good thing. The other thing that I will say, I think about having the iPad taking notes, especially when you've got the sun on you, is to be gross for a second. But your hands get quite sweaty sometimes in the cockpit. And when you're trying to write on the iPad and you've got sweaty hands, that's rubbing across the screen. And unless you've got one of the newer iPads, which I think can detect when your hands are uh, on the iPad as opposed to a stylus. With the older ones like this, this is not the new iPad Mini, this is the previous version. When you're writing and your hand's kind of moving along, it can actually stop what you're writing because it's just reading the sweaty part of your hand. When I get that ATIS on the way back, I'm going to use my finger 
because sometimes you don't often have one of these and taking notes using your finger is very different to taking notes using one of those. All right, so just doing that, you probably saw I, I was slower, a lot slower, and I missed some of the information as well. So the wind 35010 to 20, cab OK. I didn't actually get the temperature, that was 22, which I'm comparing here on my written version, or the QH. So because it was so slow, because your finger gets really stuck and it gets a bit sweaty and it drags along the iPad, so you can't write as quickly as you would with a pen. This is the thing that concerns me the most is ATIS is fine because you can listen to that twice, doesn't matter. When you're getting a clearance for IFR, you really need to have that and you need to be able to read that back quickly. So at the moment, just from testing, in terms of speed, writing with your finger on the iPad is slowest. Writing with a stylus on the iPad is the next fastest, but it's still faster writing with a pen on a piece of paper. All right, there's a few more things I want to talk to you about iPad versus paper, but let's get us down on the ground and I'll talk to you about that once we get down and land. Get rid of the autopilot and let's land this thing. Woo! Go away, go Yankees early. <laughs> versus paper yes. for taking notes. What do you use, iPad or paper? I use paper. Have you used an iPad before for taking clearances? No, no. just to know, just paper. You're paper based? Yeah. iPad. iPad, iPad everything. Why iPad? Easier. Yeah. I always lose the pens. Yeah. So. Do you use your finger or yeah. a stylus? Finger for everything on that That's always helpful. Shut up! I just put the iPad on my lap, especially in this series. Yeah. There's nothing in your way, just put it on your lap. See, I've been, I've been putting all my uh, frequencies straight into the avionics, yeah. my transponder code straight into the avionics, but I'm still writing, I'm yeah. still writing ATIS down see, and write, clearances. Write, the only thing I really write down is the ATIS on, on the iPad. Yeah. And just leave it with everything. So what's happened? Yeah, the alternator's failed. Nice big hole inside the engine now. Alt 1? Alt 1. The important one? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that's right. Hopefully it's all back in goal for this weekend. It's just sad that you're not flying it anymore. Oh no, well I still love KJM, <laughs> it's just, you know, hanging out with her sister a bit more nowadays. Yeah, that's, all. that's it. And then hopefully we're going to fly them both at the weekend, yeah? Yeah. If Could not, be. I'll be sitting right seat with you. <laughs> I'll be an annoying co -pilot. We can do that, you can be on whale watching duty. <laughs> Spring's finally here in Melbourne, it's a beautiful day. All right, my final thoughts then on if you're taking notes in the cockpit, iPad or paper. Now, I made a video on this channel a couple of months ago called Why I'm Ditching Paper, and it was all about moving to an iPad-only cockpit. I wasn't gonna use paper anymore. You've probably realized that since that point, I've kind of reverted, and I did go with just the iPad for a while, but I've got to say, some of those points I was talking about in the plane before, like the fact that sometimes it's hard when you're dragging your finger across the screen, sometimes your, your hand can press on the screen when you're trying to write with the stylus and it doesn't pick it up, it takes a little bit longer to write on the iPad than it does to write on paper. All those reasons combined meant I think I kind of reverted back to what I was used to, which was just using pen and paper. One other big reason why I like pen and paper is you probably saw earlier as well, you can write quite small on here and quite detailed and so you can actually fit quite a lot on the one sheet of paper. Whereas I find when I'm writing on the iPad, everything's just a little bit bigger and it takes up more room. As technology improves, we're obviously gonna get a more natural writing experience on something like an iPad with you know better styluses, with better designs of iPad. But it's a personal preference and for me at the moment, I think what I'm going to be doing is using the iPad for maps and charts. I use Airplan EFB as my electronic flight bag, but as a note-taking device in the cockpit, I think I'm going back to paper. 
Tell me what you use below, iPad, paper, combination of the two, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear. Here's a playlist of some more of my flying experiences which I think you'll like, and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, do consider clicking on the subscribe button. It means a lot to me to see the channel grow. Otherwise, thanks for watching. There's an ant crawling up my bum as well. Yeah.